Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how you can install Windows 11 on a KVM supported virtual machine on Linux. You will learn how to install the base system of Windows 11 and how to integrate Windows into your Linux desktop with common clipboard usage and dynamic screen resolutions. With this setup, you can easily install every Windows application like Office 365 or Teams. You will find all links to the required applications in the video description below. And if you like the video, please subscribe and support my channel. Thank you so much. Let's jump in. Windows 11 has special system requirements. One of them is TPM 2.0, a trusted platform module, TPM, is a specialized chip on a laptop or computer that is designed to secure hardware with integrated cryptographic keys. It helps proof a user's identity and authenticates their device, providing security against threats like firmware and ransomware attacks. So this is the security standard of Windows 11 and this requirement must be fulfilled. And we can install on a Linux system a software called SWTPM, Software TPM to emulate that chip. And this is what we will do now with sudo pacman s software TPM SWTPM. Done. Now we can download the Windows 11 ISO from the Microsoft download page. You will find all links to the download pages in the description of the video. So what we need to search for is this section, download Windows 11 disk image ISO. We select Windows 11, click on download now. The product language is English International, confirm. And then you can download the Windows 11 ISO. The last package that we have to download um, to run Windows 11 in a virtual machine is a driver package from virt.io-win repository. The link in the description. You open the page and you have to download the latest virt.io Windows ISO. Now we are ready to install Windows 11 in KVM. I start the virtual machine manager and click here on new virtual machine. First step is we need to select the ISO file that we have downloaded from Windows 11. Open. Auto detection works fine. Windows 11 is detected. Move forward. Eight gigs are recommended that's fine for me, but I will choose 12 pro processors. Forward. 128 gigs are recommended. I will reduce this to 80. This should be fine. Forward. This is Windows 11 base system for me. Network selection is fine. We have internet connection. And I customize, of course, the configuration before the installation. Finish. Okay, let's check if we are ready to go. The chipset is Q35 and UEFI. This is correct. Windows 11 is the name of the operating system. CPUs, I will change the topology to 162. Apply. Memory, fine. Boot options. Now we have to enable the boot menu. We need to move the Windows 11 ISO to the top that we can boot then from Windows 11 ISO. I click on to apply. The disk we change here to virt.io. With virt.io we have a much better performance later on in the virtual machine. Then we need to add an additional hardware. I select now the driver package that we have downloaded. Virt IO Win open. And the device type is a CD ROM. And I click on finish. Now we need to jump back to the boot menu and add this device as well. 
apply. Internet connection is there. This is everything fine. Video QXL is also fine. TPM. Now we need to make sure that we have here in TPM device emulated and the version is 2.0. And I click to on apply. And now we can start with the installation. The system is booting up. I press any key because I want to boot from the CD-ROM with the Windows ISO and the welcome screen is here. Perfect. Okay, the language to install is English. Time currency format is, in my case, German. Keyboard layout is German. I click on next and install now. Setup is starting. I don't enter the product key now, so I don't have a product key and I start the installation. I select here Windows 11 Pro. And next. I accept the license agreement and I install Windows 11 only. So now you become to the point where you don't see the virtual hard drive that we have created at the beginning. Okay, now I have to select the driver package. And when I click on browse, you see here that the WetIO Win driver package is now added as a CD-ROM. And I click here on that arrow, I choose AMD 65 and then here click on Win 11. And the driver, the Red Hat WetIO SCSI driver appears and then I can click on next. And now the disk is there and I can proceed with the installation. You see the installation takes a while. Give your virtual machine the time to install it. Okay, now the first restart is planned. I click on restart now. System is booting up this time. I don't press any key because I want to boot now from my hard disk. And it seems to work. Windows 11 is loading and we'll proceed the next installation steps. The next reboot. Don't press any key here. We want to boot again from the hard disk. Okay. And the configuration for the Windows 11 installation starts. My country is Germany. My keyboard layout is of course German. No, I don't want to add a second keyboard. Systems checking now for updates. The name of the device, I name it Win 11 Base. Next. And the next reboot. And the configuration continues. I set up the system for personal use. I sign in to my Microsoft account. I sign in. Seems to work. I will not restore from an existing system. I will set up the computer as a new device. I can create a pin. No, I want to enable location services. No, I don't need to find my device. The required diagnostics data only. Don't have inking or typing improvements needed. No, 
tips not required. Nope, no advertising ID. And this is a step that I also want to skip. I don't want to customize my experience. Also, this is a step that I want to skip. I only want to save files on my PC. System is checking for updates again. And now the installation will be finished. Although this step might take a few minutes. We are almost there. And here is Windows 11 installed in your virtual machine in the latest version. And now we can proceed with the configuration. The next step is that we have to install a driver package on Windows 11 to enable a smooth integration into your Linux desktop. And this package is called SPICE, www.spicespace.org. If the download is done, you can start the installation of the SPICE guest tools here. Yes, I allow this. Click on next. I agree. And the installation has started. I install the device software, the guest agent will be installed. This can take a second. The graphic driver has been activated. And it's installed. My recommendation is to shut down this system. And restart again. I enter my pin and I'm back on Windows. And now we can test the common clipboard. This is Mousepad, my editor. I copy the text and I open here my notepad and paste. Works. Perfect. Let's try the other direction. Copy and paste one, two, three, four. Let's copy the text in Windows 11 and paste it into the editor on Linux. Everything works fine. Now we can activate the dynamic screen resolution. With that, you can integrate Windows 11 super nice into your Linux desktop. To do this, I have to activate under the view section menu of the virtual machine viewer, scale display auto resize the virtual machine with window. And the screen resolution will be extended to capture the whole screen. And now I can also decrease the window size or switch the positions. And you see that the resolution of Windows 11 adapts to the window size perfectly. I can increase and I can decrease the size. And you see that the screen resolution adapts perfectly to your new window size. So I can close the virtual machine manager. I can quit mousepad. And you see that window fits here in and I can also open a terminal and the screen resolution again adapts of Windows 11. You can also switch to the full screen mode by view full screen and Windows 11 works on a full screen mode. You can exit the full screen mode by click here on leave full screen and the screen resolution adapts again to the new window size. And we are back in a scaled Windows 11 screen.
Now you can install any exclusive Windows software on the virtual machine and can integrate it in your daily workflow. In following videos, I will show you how to optimize Windows 11 even more with passing through a GPU to access your virtual machine via RDP for even better integration and by using Looking Glass for full performance on your Linux system. Stay up to date by subscribing to my channel. See you next time.